Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to our first edition. Uh, today, in our first segment, we've been joined by Fahad Babar, uh, phantom uh, of uh, cricket in Chicago, in uh, in USA. Uh, Fahad has seen uh, a lot of success in cricket in the USA. He was uh, one of the best performers in Malaysia in uh, WCL3. Unfortunately, USA got relegated. And now they're back in route going to WCL3 uh, to hopefully qualify to go and graduate to WCL2. Um, also in between, he scored some significant runs and uh, performances for the Aussie Cup uh, on behalf of USA uh, and also in Ireland uh, as well. Uh, Fahad, welcome to the show. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you very much for inviting me today. So we all know Fahad Babar, the cricketer. Fahad Babar is always out there. There's always we're always seeing him in a helmet. What's beneath the helmet? Who is really Fahad Babar? What? Where did you come from? How did you end up in Chicago? I think our audience would love to know the real Fahad Babar. Sure. First of all, my name is Fahad Babar, as everybody knows. Uh, I'm from Karachi, and uh, I have lived uh, all my childhood in Karachi, in Malir Kent, and uh, I have a huge family. Uh, four more, uh, three more brothers, and one little sister, and plus mom and dad, plus one of my brother. He's married, so we are total eight. As a huge family, you know, uh, living in in United States, it's a big family, and it's pretty much pretty fun, and it's always something happening in the family too. And yes, I play cricket, and that's my profession, and I have been playing cricket uh, for a while now, for eight years, professional. That's awesome, uh, Fahad. Uh, so. Uh, when was the first time you got introduced to a bat? Uh, do you remember? Were you uh, a little kid? Did, was it a, something that you just woke up and you had passion about and, and you decided to pursue? I think to be honest, I don't remember, but I think it was uh, very young. I would say three or four years old maybe. Because uh, my whole family uh, is really, really, uh, they love cricket and uh, they always wanted someone in a family who can play at the international level. So, uh, plus my dad and uh, my dad's brother, he almost uh, played for Pakistan uh, national team, which was a really big motivation for us. And uh, yes, that's how uh, I think it was. It was pretty young. I cannot tell you because I don't uh, really remember the day I picked up the bed, but I think it was three or four years. So, ago. it's safe to say that cricket is in your genes. Uh, yeah. You come from a uh, family of cricketers. It's nice to have that support. Uh, as I was growing up, I was really good at several sports, but I was always directed towards schooling and studies and not pursue any of those professional sports. You know that uh, mantra of Desi parents, you right. know, that you have to study and then uh, sports is an uh, is a extracurricular. For you, it's not. How's life as a sportsman? I think life as a sports, uh, sportsman, it's, you, you'll get a lot of ups and downs. And it's like... A, you can say it's like you know you're riding on a roller coaster. Sometimes you will have a great time. Sometimes you will have a bad time. But uh, what I feel like uh, whenever you have a bad time, you always uh, you always you have to come back strong in a, in a sport. If you're a good sportsman, you'll be able to recover and come back strong and prove that you're a good sportsman or person and an athlete too. And it all be, uh, comes from the fitness. There you have it folks, uh, the word to the wise, uh, success has many friends and failure is an orphan. So how do you cope with failure? I know as a professional cricketer, uh, you've got good seasons, you've got good innings and then you've got dips in your performances. Is it just always going back to the drawing board or is it just a little bit of tweak, uh, fixing a small adjustment that will get you back into the game or is it going back to the drawing board and redesigning the entire uh, platform uh, and how you perform? I feel like in cricket, since uh, my profession is a cricketer, so in cricket, if you're doing, if you're, uh, what I have uh, been told by my coach recently, Pubudu, he's one of the very good coaches and a nice, humble person. So he has told me like once, if you if you're not performing well, you should go back to your routine. There are little little things in your game, especially your routine. Sometimes you know players, they are not. Uh, suppose you wake. My routine is I wake up, I pray in the morning, before uh, going out to the game. And then, you know, I listen to the music and, you know, I have a certain routine. And for every individual player, there's a certain routine. If you go to the, to the same routine and you go up and uh, into the game, it helps you. Sometimes what happens is, you know, we don't keep up with our routine, which is, uh, that's why we are not focused when we are going into the game. So little, little things matter. And plus, if, if it's affecting your performance, uh, recently I had a couple of low scores and I have done a little adjustment while I was in Sri Lanka 
I was there for first class games and I did a little adjustment and it has really uh, improved my game and I feel like I'm back to, you know, back at my best. Well, we all look forward to your great performances in WCL3. Uh, so what's the uh, Fast Barber's routine? You wake up, you listen to music. What is that fitness regimen that you follow? I, um, I know that ICC Americas has taken the reins of the US cricket team and is doing a lot of fitness development, a lot of uh, alignment with the United States Olympic uh, Committee and, and letting you use the facilities at the highest level. How's that helping build that brand of being a sportsman? Well, currently we are, they have given us a app which is called Fitbot, and it ha it gives you it's, it's an app for fitness and all the uh, international players, even IPL, CPL, uh, Big Bash, they all follow that routine, and it's a it's a very good workout. It's for uh, for uh, mainly for strengthening for your le leg uh, legs and you know your shoulders, but. Uh, it's it's a really good workout and I would uh, advise you know uh, every cr cricketer who wants to take it seriously to uh, follow that because it helps you and it will take you it will raise your game to the next level when you will be playing at the good level you need fitness and it's it's a very good workout that we are following. Can you tell our audience once again what's that fitness app called? It's it's called Fitbot and it has been given us uh, uh, it 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 has been. Uh, approved by the uh, you know uh, United States of Olympics and the uh, one of our coaches he has given us that uh, the routine it, it's it's a great routine and if you follow that, you will definitely see a difference in your fitness level and your game. That's awesome, Fad. I know that there's two components to fitness. There's the physical attribute, which is basically picking you up physically. How about the mental component of uh, a, a sportsman? How how much if you had to uh, put some sort of a percentage? Uh, and we'll have our guest who is very percentage heavy, who's going to be doing some future predictions for our weekly matchups in Midwest cricket. Uh, but if you had to put a percentage, how much of focus is needed on the physical attributes of fitness and the mental uh, attribute of fitness? Well, I feel like uh, physical is a thing you can you can improve on your physical uh, by going to the gym and doing fitness and stuff. But mentally, I feel like me mental fitness in cricket is really important. And mm -hmm. it all comes from your family support. And from your friends and your your gathering, so it's very important. Uh, your gathering, whatever they are, they have to be good, and you always have to pick a good gathering. And uh, your family support is also very important, because little little things are gonna affect you mentally. So you make sure even your diet, your diet is very important. So whatever you're eating and stuff, so it all it all includes in your mental. Uh, Fitness level too. Great. So, Fahad, uh, uh, as we come to the end of our segment, I've got a few other uh, components that I want you to kind of enlighten our audience with. Sure. One is, uh, as you landed in Chicago, did you expect that we'll have this level of competition, this level of cricket? And what was yet, do you remember that first experience on a cricket ground in Chicago? And where was it? Who? Which team you were playing with? Yes, uh, actually, when I came to uh, Chicago, to the United States, I never thought of playing cricket again because I mean you never heard USA cricket team before so when I came here I remember I, I brought my kit and I was like you know I, I, I was gonna play with my brothers uh, and then uh, my one of uh, my brother he used to work in mall and then through that we got a contact uh, of you know one of the famous guys in cricket here which is Yusuf, uh, Arshid Yusuf mm -hmm. and through him we, we got into one of the cricket teams in Midwest Cricket League mm -hmm. And there, there was a, there was our first experience. Uh, I was, I think, fourteen years old, mm -hmm. and I still remember I played of my first game here against uh, Phoenix Cricket Club. At that time, I was pretty young, mm -hmm. and I was totally unfit. And I was, and one of the guy who really helped me out during that time was uh, uh, one of our teammates. His name was Kiran. Mm -hmm. So he helped me a lot, and uh, he he used to tell me little little things which which developed me as a player. As a cricketer too, and as a good person too. So uh, yes, there, uh, there was it. I think it was, uh, and then from the from then on, it was game on for me, and I I, I improved and I kept uh, training and kept uh, working hard. And then we saw that firsthand as part of the uh, Midwest Cricket Conference. Um, we've seen you grow leaps and bounds, and you've come a long way. 
and obviously uh, we all here at Midwest Grid Conference wish you nothing uh, but a full professional life of success starting with your performances in WCL3. Uh, before we wrap up, uh, I'm just going to do a quick fire round. So I'm going to just ask a few questions and uh, we want to have you respond really quickly so you don't have much time to think. Uh, so it's going to be very simple questions. So uh, tell our audience about the, uh, it, uh, about the dressing room of the current US cricket squad. I'm going to ask you questions about uh, the, the, the team composition and also um, other folks that are part of the team and how they are. Uh, so let's just start with our uh, quick fire round folks. Uh, so Fahad, who's the team comedian in Cricket USA right now? Uh, I would say Nicholas Stanford. Uh, great. Uh, who's your best friend uh, at, in the team? Everybody is my best friend. I cannot, I cannot name one. I think you have everybody. to choose at least one I person. I feel like uh, Jesse. Jesse. Jesse Sam. What's your favorite shot? Flick. Great. Uh, who in the uh, dressing room plays tricks on other uh, cricketers? Or uh, has these uh, things that he, they do in the, in the dressing room that keeps it lively? Nicholas Stanford. <laughs> Nicholas Stanford. Uh, who's the most uh, fittest uh, cricketer in your opinion in the current cricket? Uh, Akeem Dodson. Akeem Dodson. Great. And uh, which bowler is it that you like to face that is on the current cricket squad that you feel that is very competitive? Uh, I love facing uh, Ali, Ali Khan. Ali Khan. Great. Well, Fahad, uh, before we jet out, uh, I want to take the time and uh, have our audience uh, say that uh, uh, please pray for the success of Fahad Babar in particular and in, uh, absolutely let's support Team USA uh, to bring back the WCL3 uh, for us and uh, take us to WCL2. Thank you once again. It was a pleasure having you. Uh, we hope to see you again. Inshallah, definitely.